everyone, I am Tess, and today we're going to be making some random teams out of the chest drops. But before we do, let's hand out the redeem code real quick for today of uh, HUCJX9OY and 2P. And of course, that gives the normal of two treasure maps, one gem key, 200 souls, and 2,500 gold. Real quick, let's just see what we get from that gem key and go on to what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to open two sets of 50. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a team out of the first four troops that uh, pop out of this. So let's just open it right up. Okay, we got glory. I'm just going to let it tick through. Uh, of course, eh, watch, well, we're going to go like 10 things before the first troop even shows up. There we go. We got a banshee. The reason I'm doing it this method instead of... Um, Oh no, a hag. <laughs> By just using the random thing in game is because it doesn't really work that well right now. Wow, Warhound. This is going to be such a horrible team. And Drake Rider. What even is this team? Okay, so let me just write that down because I know I might forget if I don't. And let's get through this. The reason I'm not doing this by the normal means, like I just said, uh, whenever you do the... Well, I'll show it right now. Let me just click through this. Oh, we didn't get like anything good in there either. Well, at least we got some resources like souls, gems and stuff. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll go over to this. We'll make that team. But if we just use the, um, clear out this team, just rename it, random one. <laughs> uh, if we just use suggest a troop, it's a bit bugged in what it actually supplies when you have all the troops in the game. Like, it keeps pulling from, like, the same 20-ish items over and over again. Like, you can see a lot of impel loves. Like, half of the pools have been impel loves, which is why I don't use it by this method. It just keeps pulling the same exact things. So, let's get this team up in functioning as uh, whatever this thing is. I'm going to keep it in the exact same order that uh, it came out in. Uh, the only thing I'll actually choose is the banner. Hag was buffed recently, but she's still absolutely horrible. Uh, she was got her uh, cast reduced by one mana. Four hounds. And, wow. <laughs> Drake Rider. Ugh. What's even worse is he denies our mana. <laughs> we don't even use anything with red, and we have two things that make red. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be horrible. We only use four different colors, too. Uh, well, we have plus one yellow on the uh, Warhound. I might just go, like, all out yellow with it. Or I could go double green, and that could get Hag up quickly, even though she's kind of horrible. At least um, we could keep stats affecting, and maybe she'll give a random stat to something useful. Though none of the nothing on this team is really going to be doing that much damage. Like, Drake Riders and Banshees all of our damage, but our uh, Banshee's probably going to die pretty quick. <laughs> this is going to be horrible. Let's see. Let's just do double green. I'm definitely going to probably have to not take the three trophy, that's for sure. Uh, because that will just absolutely annihilate our team. Though, then again, so is <laughs> that other one. Maybe we should just go through the three trophy. Let's not use that. That would be way too strong. And let's go to this. <laughs> let's see if I can get two loses this episode. Yeah, we're only using four different colors with two red spawners with no reds on the team. Very unlucky on this drop. So I guess we kind of have to go for Skulls. Though she has like one of the lowest attacks in the game tied at it. So this might be awful. If we can get Warhound to cast, that'd be pretty good though. Since it won't be able to Skull damage us at least. And the only threat it really has is Crimson Bat. And I think it'll take him three casts in order to really kill us. Surge. So I kind of don't want to use this. Then again, we don't use blue or red, so it doesn't really matter unless you convert the blues to red. That actually helps us some. Even though we don't use the uh, red, we also don't use the blue. So she's kind of helping us in that. Uh, like right there we can remove some we're not really going to get any useful man out of it though plus we'll give him a purple turn so let's not use that uh let's see if we can status effect the bat okay we froze the bat and gave hp to something that does not need it at least the drake rider won't really die now or not as easily as he would have so we are on green banner so we do want to try taking greens especially if we get a surge on it that'll get uh, our hag all the way up and we can just keep spamming her status effect and he gave us his purples. Very nice. Uh, oh, and we can actually get an extra turn off this. I do want to focus down the bat. Every single cast is going to be on the bat because that's the only damage he really has on his team. 
and skulls aren't really a big deal since we can just reduce it down to zero. So hopefully we get a silencer. That'd be amazing. We got Hunter's Mark on the one in the last slot. Well, that won't do anything. She did just get a magic buff on herself, though, which is kind of funny. Now she'll give 28 to a random ally <laughs> whenever she does that. Um, there's no greens we can take, though, so I can't take that right now. Hopefully a green falls there. There we go. Perfect. And a surge. She's about to cleanse her status effect right off, but as long as we can get that bat, like, disabled as much as possible. Like, as soon as that bat dies, this is pretty much one. Okay, we got that up. If I'm not mistaken, that's um, yellows to red, right? Uh, uh, yes. So let's use that. Use it on bat. And take our free skulls. And we are actually almost killed one. Soup there, there. And we can get actually turn off a two, but I'm still going to keep hitting on bat. Bat's the only threat on that team. Ooh, maybe I should have just taken the skulls there. Oh, well. Uh, double checking for anything. And yeah, let's just status effect the bat. And she's going to give 28 to whatever she does too. She just gave herself to, uh, 28 attack. That's not really going to help unless her banshee does. Okay, come on. Green surge. Okay, we got it. We got the purples. We got the skulls. We got pretty much everything out of that. Also, I just noticed we entangled the bat. Wow. <laughs> We're using like every single status effect that has no effect on him at all because of his position. Okay, skulls, I am probably going to take. I'm a little bit scared about it casting, though. So maybe instead, uh, I believe that's enough damage. Yes, it is. We're just going to take purples here. He'll take the skulls, and we'll kill the bat. And that's a one game right there. Yeah, we'll just give him some reds. He doesn't use it, though. And now all we really have to do is... Please don't kill Banshee. <laughs> is uh, kill him out with these two now. Okay, we get an extra turn, so let's use that. Uh, let's just use it right on the Soothsayer. Mana surge, mana surge. And we can't status effect the Herdmaster now that it doesn't have Impervious anymore, so that'll be nice. And I'll probably want to do that to make sure he doesn't keep cleansing. Come on, can we get a burn or poison? Preferably a burn. Okay, Death Mark. I, I can, I'm dealing with that, as long as it triggers. <laughs> As long as it triggers, I'm fine with that. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> wow, that was nice. She's still horrible, though. <laughs> She's still a very horrible troop. Um, okay, let's take purple. Oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah, we need Banshee or our um, Drake Rider up. I think he's about to kill us right here, though. Oh, no, he's not. 2 HP, <laughs> or I mean 2 damage, and okay, she's one, only one away. Uh, yeah, we'll do this, come on, give us a good status effect again. Nope, it's just freeze, and she gives herself armor. There we go, and that is the win. Okay, so that random team didn't do too horrible, that was the 3 trophy too, that we end up winning it with. So let's try it again. And see if we can get some better drops this time, hopefully. <laughs> I can't believe that team actually won. We'd even use Warhound once, but we were using him for the plus one uh, mana thing that he was giving. Okay, in this instance, I am probably going to have to go for the two trophy. There's no way we're going to uh, win this against Emperor Core, Vash, Valkyrie, Famine. Plus, there's a mana core in there. That's just way too much for a random team. But we will bring it up against this all night team and see how it does there. Let's just actually get the drops then. Over to chest. Let's do 50. And what do we have? Okay, we got Templar. We got Ancient Horror. Not horrible. Not particularly good, though. Yeti. Still kind of horrible. <laughs> okay, what's our next one? I, I'm writing so horrible, too. <laughs> this doesn't even look like English. And Archon Statue. Okay, that is a very weird team. <laughs> Actually, it, aren't they all brown? I think that is all brown. Let's see. Did we get anything? A bunch of gems and some other stuff. Uh, okay. So, let's go over to troops and replace out the other team. Random, too. And we have Templar. Ancient Horror. I know you already are one. Uh, Templar. 
Yeah, it is all brown. Templar, Yeti, and Archon statue. Uh, what a team! Wow. Um. Uh, yeah, that's something. <laughs> that is definitely something. Oh, what do I even set the banner on this? <laughs> I'm almost thinking double brown just because of, like, if we go to bonuses, we have a little bit higher on the mastery. We're getting two armor, too, from the two white helms. Uh, let's see. Are, are we using even less color than the previous team? One, two, three. Oh, no, we're using exactly the same. We're using four colors. I'm just thinking about going double brown. My luck, it'll convert it out, though. There we go. Yeah, so we'll just go double brown with this. Oh, we could use, um, actually instead of that. Um, oh no, it wouldn't work. I was going to go the frozen banner with plus two uh, purple and uh, plus one blue, but that wouldn't really actually end up working. So let's just stick it with double brown then and see how this does. We will definitely have plenty of armor, uh, that's for sure. It's actually a kind of a night team against a night team in a way because uh, Templar is going to be really tanking us up with the... Um, what he's going to be doing and everything. And Archon Statue, I kind of consider him a knight, even though he's not a knight. But anyways, let's get into this and see how this one goes. All knights versus a whatever team I am using is called. <laughs> the all brown team. I don't even know. Okay, so let's see here. Well, brown would definitely be good to take, since we have the banner set completely to it. And we get extra on blue and purple as well because of the water link on him and the uh, magic link on the ancient horror. We'll probably take that blue if I do this though. Which you'll do right there. Yep. Well then. And I restricted to only taking four different colors too because um, of what we have on the team. Come on, one mana short. <laughs> if I if I would have set the banner to it, it would have gotten it, but I didn't feel like we really needed the banner since we have uh, Templar who can just feed him if we need to. I don't really want to go directly for him yet. I don't want to take purples, but if I do, he's going to take skulls on us. I do want to try skulling him some, as that's almost our, all of our damage. Like, these guys are going to cast occasionally. But uh, this team's going to be moving pretty quick with the summoning and the Night Coronet up front just pressuring us on purple. So we do probably want to remove that. I really wish there was a way that it would hit my last troop. Like if Wolf Knight hit my last troop, that would be perfect for us. I doubt the AI would be that dumb though. But it could be. <laughs> okay, let's just cast this. There's like no way he's going to get that extra 27 damage. So I'm just going to need to keep using it and then hopefully... I pushes it in the range that the ancient horror can actually kill it. Oh, there was an extra turn there, and he moved it away from the cascade. Uh, would taking that actually drop it enough? I think it will. Mana surge. Mana surge. Yes, it will. Perfect. Oh, I gave it a brown though. Oops, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that. But he gave me a free skull, so I guess that makes up for it. Where have blue been? I don't think we've taken a single blue match this entire uh, match. Or blue pair. Oh, he's stealing my purple. As long as the Dark Master doesn't cast uh, during his summon, because he's only doing 9 damage. Like, he's a complete non-threat. The main threat of him is uh, if he summons. Okay, we'll just take this free turn. <laughs> a bunch of greens there. Too bad we don't have another thing that uses greens. A lot of yellows I've been noticing on this board. Nothing we can do about it, though. Or yet he's probably going to go unused this entire match because he's blocked. Oh, he does have Water Link too. I didn't even notice that though. Uh, so we get plus five on both blue and um, brown. Both of them give five or eight if they surge. That'll help us some. Need to get rid of those yellows. He's been at eight mana like this entire game since I think like the first turn or something. Been trying to get him to cast and stuff like that, but I, we haven't had an opening to. It looks like that's like the only move I can do unless I want to waste reds. Come on, Surge. Oh, uh, nine mana again. One short. And he's just going to Night Coronet us again. I need him to cast. He's going to die soon if he doesn't. Very soon. Uh, oh. Do I ignore the skulls or not? Um, he's low enough that I might as well take it. 
Be nice if I could try focusing Ancient Horror. Oh, really? Skulls again? Uh, no. I'm taking the Brown because we can get a Templar pass. Plus, we just got Ancient Horror up from the Surge. So, perfect. We'll do that. Huge armor buff for us. And way more mana than we'll ever need to pass that. And that is enough. Wow, yeah, 29. That's definitely enough. Uh, I'm actually going to ignore the uh, Night Coronet, even though it does more damage, just to make sure this thing does not get a single summon off. Hopefully it doesn't loop on this. Let's see. Uh, not too bad. You only got a Yellow Surge. I can live with that. Oh, he's got damage too, so that's really nice. So, um... I actually forgot when that happened. <laughs> I think it would have been, it was from the Griffin Knight, his dive that put it under. But that's going to help us a lot now because he does 35 damage total because the extra 8 that he does when he's damaged. Oh, never mind. The Night Coronet. <laughs> of course, I forgot. The Night Coronet hits back. I almost, I don't know why, but sometimes I keep for thinking about uh, Night Coronet as before he got uh, reworked. When Night Coronet used to just hit the first two. I sometimes actually forget he hits the first one and the back one. Which is actually more powerful than just hitting the first two. Which is why they actually um, changed it to that. Because before it used to be basically just like a, a variant of Reaver. That was basically the same exact thing. But then they changed it so he wasn't. And then everyone started using him. Because being able to hit both the uh, first and last enemy is very powerful. So this should kill the Wolf Knight. And now we just have to deal with Night Coronet and the Griffin thing. So we'll kill that with Skulls, and then that is over. Wow. So that went pretty well for random teams. Neither of them really lost. Well, neither of them did lose. <laughs> neither of them really even came close to losing either, which is kind of interesting. We could kill it with, like, Skulls or the... Um, for the Ancient Horror. We'll do an Ancient Horror against Magic. And yeah, that is the match. Anyways, that will do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.